Hello, I'm David Sears, and here are your top stories this morning. A woman is displaced from her southeast side home after a fire broke out in it and then spread to her next door neighbor's house. Good morning. I'm Sarah Acosta. This fire starting just after three o'clock this morning on the 400 block of Kate Schnick Avenue. That's on the southeast side. The woman who lived at the home by herself was able to get out safely and she wasn't injured, nor was a man living in the house by himself next to her. But her home is a different story. Firefighters calling it a different loss. Firefighters say they got the call at three this morning when they arrived. The woman's home was taken over by flames starting in the carport. The fire then started to spread to her next door neighbor's home where one man lived by himself. His home sustaining damage to the roof and attic, but will most likely be able to go back inside later today. That will not be the case of for Christine Cervantes, who lives in the home that was destroyed. She says she is grateful for her neighbors who helped her get out of her home. Arson investigators will be out here trying to determine what started the fire. They said there's so much debris at this point. It is hard to determine that. From the southeast side, I'm Sarah Costa, KSAT 12 News. Firefighters also put out a fire on the west side overnight. Firefighters responded to flames coming out of the side of a duplex in the 8100 block of Airlift Avenue around 10 last night. That's near Loop 410 and Highway 90. Officials say an appliance caught fire when the homeowner wasn't home. A neighbor called it in and firefighters put it out quickly. Nobody injured in the fire, but their home is in need of some repairs now. And a man in the hospital this morning after a driver hit him with his SUV on the northwest side. It happened last night just before 10 on Vance Jackson. An officer says the man was crossing the street when the driver hit him. That driver then took off and police still looking for him. The man was taken to University Hospital and is expected to recover. And police are still investigating why a car was left on train tracks causing a train to crash into it. Officers tell us it happened at Southwest 19th Street in Monterby just before three this morning. That's near Highway 90 and General Hudnell Drive. Nobody injured in that collision. And that's all for now. For the latest headlines, you can check out Facebook and Twitter.